February 20, Thursday, the sixth week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark Jesus and his disciples set out for the village of Caesarea, Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this, he turned around and looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. The Gospel of the Lord You are the Messiah. The opening line of Mark's Gospel also serves as its title, the beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ as the Son of God. The high point of Jesus' ministry in Galilee is Peter's confession, You are the Messiah, or the Christ. Peter and the disciples have come to this conclusion after seeing Jesus teach and act with authority. But Jesus does not present himself according to their expectation of a powerful and glorious Messiah. On the contrary, he predicts that he will suffer greatly, be rejected, and be killed. Shocked by his words, Peter begins to rebuke him. Later, on the cross of Golgotha, Jesus dies feeling abandoned even by God. And yet, it is in the total emptying of his divinity and humanity that he is recognized by the centurion who confesses, Truly, this man was the Son of God. Jesus proves himself as the Messiah and the Son of God, not just in power, but more especially in obedience to the Father's will unto death. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name.